These are $10 to get. They have a booster box pack inside of them. That's basically worth five bucks after taxes and everything. So you're paying ten five bucks <laughs> for whatever's in here. And do you know that the Vulcan, the Hammer Sparks right now are going ten dollars a piece? The Garurumons in here are going five bucks a piece. The Kaiser nails are going five bucks a piece. Do you understand what's happening right now? Like this game is so insane. Nobody can access this game. It's so hyped. And the prices are insane. I've seen de these decks go for... F they're going for $50 right now online. And all and, the and you don't even get the booster box. You don't even get the booster pack. You're only getting these cards. And the only really good cards in here are the Pelsimons. The Hammer Sparks. What else are you going to use? And your blockers. Really, that's the value. And all of those are value, bro. Each one of those cards is five bucks. Dude, this structure deck, if you can find structure decks, just buy them up. Just buy them. None of these cards exist anywhere else. And they're so expensive, dude. Yeah, I, I was looking at TCG. The unsuspend when when attacking, the one that unsuspends itself, the four, four memory one, it's five bucks. It's insane. Like on TCG player, just go check it out. It's crazy. It's like $4.95. It's like disgusting. It's like a card you will never use ever. Unless you're running a hardcore Garurumon deck or something. Because it's such a bad card and, and there's already a card that's better. That's three memory. So a card you're never going to use is going for five bucks. <laughs> Just because it doesn't exist anywhere else. Because if you're a collector, you can't find these. You can't collect any of these cards. They're, they don't exist in any booster box. So this is money, guys. Don't let anybody, uh, you know, take this away from you and then uh, make make a buck from for themselves. Every single card here. I'll show you the value cards right now. Let's let's look. Let's just look it. Okay. We'll start with the Tsunumons. Let's go with the Digitama. How much are these Digitamas going for? Let's check it out. Let's go do the Digitama. Let's do this. TCG player right now is the best, I think, because eBay is a little hyped. eBay could get really... <laughs> can you believe eBay is a little overhyped than TCG player? Alright, let me show you guys something. Um, Alright, let me show you th uh, something. something. Uh, okay, so what are we looking for? Tsunumon, right? Tsunumon. I don't know how much he is. Let's check. He's two bucks. This nasty digi <laughs> Tama that nobody will ever use. That nobody ever used. <laughs> I did, I've, I've been covering PPG events for a long time, like, since I think they started the first one. So I've been covering these PPG Digimon events since they started, and I never, I, I think I saw one Blue Omni deck running one of these. And now, you're playing Blue Omni, right? You're playing Blue Omni, right? So you are gonna need these guys. You need these guys. You need minimum three. Because these are one of the only two cost hard cast level three minions you're ever gonna be able to find. So let's go look how much is are these guys going for? <laughs> That's not too bad. They're going for two bucks each. Six listing as low as two dollars. Let's see all the listings really quickly. And these are all pre-sales. I don't know what's a pre-sale. Yeah, basically it's going for two. It does go up to five, but nobody's gonna pay that. They'll pay the two. All right, looks good. So this is just two bucks. So a play set of these is eight dollars, and we're talking about a two cost hard cast. Look, look, look. But remember how much you paid for the deck? You paid ten dollars, and the first cards are eight dollars worth. The second one is sixteen now. Let's let's say you sell them at their value. <laughs> Actually, every card in here is super valuable, except a couple. Like the, these Gabumons. These Gabumons are actually really valuable. Let's go check them out. All right, this is not too bad. Nobody is using these. So they're only 50 cents. Okay, that's not too bad. The problem is you can't find them anywhere else. So you, you're just stuck with TCG player prices. Maybe you could find somebody on a good group that can hook you up. But we're stuck with these prices. So they're basically 50 cents each. These are horrible. These suck. These don't do anything. These Ikakumons are horrible. I can't believe they exist. These Ikakumons. These these Bearmons and Ikakumons are horrible. Garurumon, there, there is potential. There is potential for this in a Garurumon deck. There is potential. It's horrible. It's, it's a really bad card, but there is potential. 
And now here we are, we got some money right now. So we get these guys, these blockers. Let's see how much these are valued at. Oh, look, $6. I think they're more expensive than Cordramons. Cordramon. So you have to understand the red, the blue decks, I think they're going a little bit more expensive than the red right now. Uh, same value, six bucks. Okay, not bad, six bucks. So you pay $10 uh, for this. I paid 10 bucks for this bo box. I paid 10 bucks. I paid 11, $11, I think, after tax. Pay ten dollars for this, and just selling these two, you paid it back off. You paid back your eleven bucks, and everybody needs a set of these. And you have to understand, there's no more blockers for blue. I don't know, BT4. Do, do they get any more blockers? I think they do get one more blocker. No, they don't get any blockers. BT4, they don't get any blockers. So do they get any blockers in BT4? I don't think so. I don't see any blockers. I still don't see any blockers. This is. Uh, I still don't see any, yeah, they don't get any blockers. So these cards are going to go up in value, brother. <laughs> there are no other blue blockers. Even in the next set, there are no more blockers. Imagine the drought that we have right now with structured decks, and now you're not going to have any blockers on top of it, even with the BT4? This is money. $10 a piece minimum right now, uh, within, within a month. $10 a piece minimum, 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 minimum. Let's move on. Let's move on. There's value, guys. There's value. <laughs> I'm showing the value. So I don't know how people are selling their structured decks for 15 bucks. I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, I mean, you, ha you have to do it, you know. You have to do it, but the, the scalpers are destroying us. Like, if, if, you, if you get a deck, structured deck, and you sell it for 15. Guy is going to make, let's say, each hammer spark is 10 bucks. Each co each blocker is 6. Each Digitama is 2. I mean, they're going to make 80 bucks off of your structured deck. I mean, it's insane. It's it's too hyped. War Gururumans. War These cards, they, they go 2 to 3 per competitive blue omni deck. 2 to 3 besides the Zudumans. They're always they're always manipulated either Zudumon at three or Wargarumon at three, and these are really good. They allow you to become a little more aggressive. They give you an extra security attack if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution sources. Very easy to get to come by, and it forces your opponent to kind of change his playstyle. Right, you can't just toss out hard cast minions, level two cost minions. So let's check out how much this cost is. There. No, they're five bucks each. Guys, every single card, except, except, literally, every single card in this set, except, every single card, except 12 right now. Oh, no, except 10 cards, which is this Garurumon. They're useless. These Bearmons are so bad, and uh, these Ikakumons are horrible. These cards are nothing, zero. Zero dollars, value. nobody's going to buy them from you. Nobody's going to pay a single dime. These are all two dollars a piece. There's eight of them. These are all five to six dollars a piece. There's eight of them. Now let's keep going, right? We want to keep going. There's another set. I don't know how good this guy is. Zudumon. This is the trash two when you digivolve. Let's see how much he is. Yep, he's pretty bad. He he's not played at all. He's only fifty cents, one dollar. But the other Zudumon, if you can get that, that's $8. But that doesn't even exist in this structure. So this is another bad card. So right now we're up to 14 bad cards in this deck that are worth less than a dollar. 14. Woo! Here we are. We got some Pelsimons. Pelsimon. Those are really cute. Those are really good. Let's let's check how much those are. I'm um, Pelsimon. Okay. Mm, nice. About three to four bucks. Not bad. You only get two of them. Not bad. They're, they're, they're necessary, man. These are really good cards. These are value. These are really, really, really good cards. Especially VT1. They're just so cheap to EVO with. Now, this is the card that I that makes my head hurt. Super free. This is the card that makes my head hurt. This is a $5 card. Can you believe it? This horrible Metal Guru, man. Look. Horrible, horrible Metal Guru. Look at it. $5. Four, 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 five dollars it's a horrible, horrible card. What is this doing? How is this five bucks? People are doing anything to buy this. People will do anything to buy this set. They'll pay any kind of money, man. This horrible card. 
And then what's more valuable than these tamers? What's more valuable than these tamers? These are the one of the best tamers in the game. Right now, BT1. These are one of the best tamers in the game. You get four of these. How much are these? Wow, he's going for a dollar. That's great. That's really good. I think that's very undervalued. Because tamers are not easy to come by. And uh, he's one of the best tamers in the game. Uh, the problem, I think, is you can't run four of him. You can only run two. Maybe that's why he's a dollar. Uh, because you don't need like full, a full set of him. Uh, but that full art mat is going for 20 bucks. What? 80 bucks. All right, this is the money card right here. Here's the money card Vulcans uh, or Hammer Sparks. Let's see how much are those go going for. Wow. Wow. $10. $8 right now. As low as $8. Ten dollar, nine dollar cards, and it's a common. Oh my god! Oh god! It's a common. It's a common. It's a common card. Let's move on. Sorrow, sorrow blue. How much is this? Sorrow blue. I, I love that name, by the way. Thirty cents. Useless. I've never seen in a. I think I've seen one in a competitive deck before. One. We do get two Kaiser Nails. Let's see how much are those. Those are money right there, I think. Because you only get two of them. No S. Yep, that's 350 That's great. So, I forgot to get the calculator out. But I already know the value of each card, okay? Let's just finish up with the last two I... What is it? Kakaitis Breath. Let's just do this last one. And then I'll tell you exactly how much is the whole thing is. Kakai. Yates. Breath. Let's do this. This is a $7 card. <laughs> 7 bucks. <laughs> I mean, that's... This is half of the Gaia Force. That means blue decks are much more valuable than red decks. That means you do not want to trade a blue deck for a red deck. You're gaining less value. Because the hammer sparks are basically the same value as the Gaia forces. So this Kokaitis Breath 2 off are $7 a piece. That's pretty insane. So let's go ahead and add everything together. So I'm going to bring my calculator up here. It's huge, huge, big, big guy. I have big calculators, guys. I collect them. Oh, anyways, that's, that's such a bad joke. <laughs> Such a horrible joke. Nobody ever laughed at that. <laughs> so we're only going to count the money cards here. Uh, money cards are basically anything above $1. Let's just call it that. So two nomons are two each. Two times four. Gomamons are two each. Plus two. Times four. Plus eight. Let's just do plus eight. All right, then we have the blockers, grizzly mons. They're six each, so six times four is 24, so plus 24. <laughs> We're already at 40. We haven't even started yet. Then we have the wargaruru mons right here. We saw them at three apiece. I think there were about five, but we'll call it three apiece. So th uh, 12. So let's do plus 12 for four. We also saw the Pelasimons. Those were, I think, two to three apiece. So we'll just say six or five. So plus five. I think it was four to three, but that's fine. We'll just do five. These horrible cards are going for five bucks each, so plus 10. <laughs> I like how I call them horrible. Here we, we have tamers. These tamers are super cheap, thankfully, and they're really good. They can, they can work in any deck. They work in any deck. That's why they're super good, in my opinion. They work in any deck consistently. And they're at, they're at $2 each, so plus eight. Woo! We haven't even started. We haven't even got to the money cards. Here's the money. Hammer sparks are $8 each. 8 times 
four is thirty six. Is that true? Yep. It's thirty two. Sorry. Eight times four is thirty two. So plus thirty two. One hundred and seven dollars. This 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 box is one hundred and seven dollars worth yet. Two cocytus breaths. This is how you know the scalping market is super hype, super bubbled, and it's gonna crash, man. But but there's just no supply for it to crash. There, literally, there's no supply. There's no structure. Deck. Maybe next week you'll get some structure decks that'll go down in value, but this week it's horrible. So these are. We said seven bucks each, so plus fourteen. And then I think there was a little bit of value here. We'll just say two dollars. Uh, we'll give him one dollar each, but I think there were a little bit more. So just with the value cards, just value. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. And I'm not saying you're gonna sell each and every one of these cards, but one ten dollar box structure deck right now is making up to a hundred and twenty-three dollars. And even potentially more when you sell them single-handedly, piece by piece, or set by set. And if you think this is going to get better in pricing, um, especially with BT4 not having any blockers, and they don't have any more structure decks for blue, and the cards that are in the structure deck, like the Hammer Sparks, only exist in this structure deck. They have to make a promotional product. That's why I believe the promotional product is going to have cards from BT1. It's going to have cards from uh, structure decks. And potentially it's going to have some cards from BT1.45 or some of the promo cards that are like official tournament packs that you cannot access anymore literally just lost because you get one 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 official tournament per per box or you know those dash cams dash dash packs anyway so yeah so i don't see this game getting any cheaper anytime soon people will need these cards to compete there are webcam tournaments so you can play anywhere in the world you don't need locals and you can compete on a global level like you can compete on global level pr pricing compete for prizes huge huge amounts of prizes and there's i mean every week ppg just last week just this saturday yesterday had a six box tournament imagine i took my red deck there and i got let's say i got 16th place how many packs is that that's eight packs that's good money man that's 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 worth the deck right there that's worth the deck, uh, the deck, besides the Omnimons, that's worth the deck. Getting eight packs for winning with a red deck that I built, that Metal Gear Greymon deck, uh, is worth it if I, if I didn't, if I don't need the Omnimons. Like, uh, like those eight packs will pay for, for the whole deck. So from the first competition, I win small and already I'm making good money. So no wonder these people want these cards and Blue Omni is one of the best decks in the game. It's not the best necessarily, but it's the most used, it's the most popular, it's the most consistent. They run 46 uh, Digimon, no options, nothing else, and they're very consistent. Uh, obviously, obviously, you could do, you could mess around with it. So that that's the idea. The idea is people, uh, you can just these structured decks are just way undervalued at, at 10, I think, or they're just way hyped and overvalued right now. The problem is you cannot get these structure decks anywhere, so I guess they do justify the pricing. I mean, you literally cannot get them anywhere. Very, very, very hard to get.